starting. Hi everyone, I am back for an Aquavit tasting. We're going to try three different kinds, the Swedish, the Danish, and the Norwegian. And the Norwegian is the one that is more in tune with my book, but they're all good and they're all a little bit different. So we'll start with Sweden first. I actually have a little Sweden red horse to drink it out of. I'm only going to have a tiny bit. This stuff is strong. Okay, so you drink, you pour it in, in the little shot glass, and then have a quick sniff, and down it goes. Pretty good, I've got to say. This is called um, O.P. Anderson. Anderson is a very, very common name. In fact, it was my grandfather's last name, and when he came through entering the United States, he and his three brothers, their name was changed to Andrews because the immigration man complained they had just way too many Andersons that day. All right, so on to Danish. My husband is Danish, so we cannot leave that one out. And it is, this one is actually, there's quite a couple of times where she's drinking Danish aquavit in the story, in my novel. All right, so here goes. This is a fun little cup. It's not Danish, but it has the red Danish look. And on the back it says, beware of female spies. Uh, you've been warned. Very good. The Danish one is usually drunk when you're having herring, marinated herrings, and at parties with beer. Um, it's not something you would just sit down and drink like this, but anyway. So here is the Linea Aquabeat, and if you can see up close on the label, there's an old sailing ship. And actually on the back, if you can see the back of the bottle, it actually shows the journey going across the equator. This all happened by accident. The Norwegians were trying to sell the aquabeat in, in China, and the Chinese didn't like it, so they shipped it back. And they thought that when it returned to Norway that it had a much better flavor and taste. So they continue to do that to this day, and this was, I don't know, over 100 years ago. All right, so here's a little Norwegian. I don't have a Norwegian shot glass, but I do have an Icelandic pony shot glass that actually I mention in my book as well. So anyway, cheers. All right, so now you've tried all three aquavates, or at least seen me try them, and I hope you get a chance to try them one of these days.